An SB settings killer? Really? BB settings? Well, I could see why people would say that, but it's not quite the SB settings killer just yet. Although it does have a lot of potential. Let me just show you why it's not the SB settings killer, and that's why it's slow, folks. Uh, it doesn't run very, you know, very fast on either the iPhone 4 or the iPod Touch G4. And that's really the main caveat that I found at this point in time. But besides that, it looks great. Uh, you can see here you have all your apps that you can launch directly from BB Settings. This is the launcher where you can launch these apps. And as you can see, it's kind of laggy. Uh, it takes a while to swipe between pages. But, um, you know, hopefully in the future, this will be worked out. Uh, for you stat junkies, though, you're going to love BB Settings. And why do I say you're going to love BB Settings? Well, because of this right here. This tab has tons of different stats from memory usage to disk usage and it's really in depth you can get some of the operating system details uh, you can see i'm running ios 5 my system build my host name my kernel you can see the battery level all that stuff and then you have some sb settings esque toggles right here and no doubt it looks better than sb settings has ever looked in its stock form it just not up to the task performance wise here on this tab you can adjust your brightness you can adjust your volume uh, there's even a little uh, place for information and there's a place where you can change the operator name and then this little star is to change that first tab to change the uh, favorites your favorite apps you can add some favorite apps i'll just do that camera mail and music tap done go to the favorites tab and you see my new favorites listed there so as you can see bb settings it has a lot of potential. It's just kind of slow right now. Now, one more thing I want to mention is that while people want to compare it to SB settings, as far as this being an SB settings killer, it's not because SB settings just has a lot more options under its belt. It has that more, more option where you can disable mobile substrate tweaks directly from SB settings. You can um, do a lot more with SB settings. You can hide uh, app icons and things like that, but that being said, BB Settings is in beta and it still has not officially released to the City of Store yet, so who knows what the future may hold. Now, if you want to try BB Settings out for yourself, check out the link in the description. There is a GitHub link where you can download the dev file for BB Settings. You can install it with iFile. So just check that out and let me know what you think in the comment section about BB Settings, folks. Do you think it is a potential SB Settings killer? This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.